What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going to be answering the most asked question I've had since being on the old yacht job. Uh, it's not what do I do for a living uh, and it's not you know is Spence my personal butler. <laughs> that would be pretty cool though wouldn't it? I think I might sort that out. Actually the most asked question that I've had has come from the fact that I've used a term in titles and thumbnails and all the rest of it and that is what is Stroke a motor. So you want more power, you want more torque, you want to be able to spool up your big turbo faster. You know, an option would be to just simply fit a bigger engine. You know what I mean? But then that turns into an engine conversion, so you've got to change everything around the engine, like the engine mounts, the gearbox possibly, the boost pipe and the exhaust, everything. It's a whole load of work. Far easier if you could maybe just keep your existing engine and then just increase the capacity of that engine itself. So we've got the 1.8 engine and say if we were able to swap out the internal components and make it a 2 litre, then we'd achieve all our goals but doing so without changing everything around the engine. It's like the perfect option. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to do it by basically enlarging the inside of the engine whilst keeping you know, the, the actual base engine and all of its support and things exactly the same. It's a pretty easy to do as well and it's well done within the VAG community. So uh, if you want to know the maths behind that then I'll see you at the board. Welcome back to school everyone. Now let's talk engine capacity or displacement um, which in mathematical terms is basically just the volume of a cylinder. As simple as that. And to find out the volume of a cylinder, we can just use pi r squared times l, where r is uh, the radius, which is half of the diameter. Now, in engine terms, that's the bore of the cylinder, and l being the length of the cylinder, which in engine terms is the stroke or how far the piston comes down uh, the cylinder wall. Now, for a standard 18T, the bore is 81 millimeters and the stroke is 86.4. So if we put that into this calculator here, it spits out each cylinder capacity of about 445 blah 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 which when you multiply it by 4 and then correct it into cubic centimetres because we're wearing millimetres uh, it gives you your capacity of 1781cc after you round up and all the rest of it. So that's pretty simple. Now we're going to take it a step further and we're going to actually increase the bore and the stroke. The bore by getting the engine bored out and using bigger pistons and the stroke simply by swapping out the crankshaft. So if we put them figures into the calculator we'll have a bore of 83 and we'll have a stroke of 92.8. It spits out each you know cylinder capacity of about 502 blah 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 blah. Can't even remember in all honesty. Uh, and then we'll have a final capacity of 2008 cc's. So you can see straight away there the effect of using that stroker crankshaft, as well as bigger pistons as well obviously, uh, has to the, uh, to the final volume of the cylinder and therefore the capacity of the engine. We'll have a 1781cc engine and by swapping these out we're going to go to 2008cc, so a, a true 2 litre 20 valve engine. Awesome. So pretty simple, we're going to increase the size of the engine or capacity simply by swapping out the internals. The pistons, like I said before, are going to be 83mm G forge pistons. Uh, and if I just fit them alone, then I'd get an increase of about uh, 0.1 of a litre. So I'd have a 1.9 litre motor and it would be great. I'm going to take it one step further and I'm going to be fitting this, which is an 06 AF 92.8mm stroke 2 litre FSI crank. Uh, so that basically answers the question, what is a stroker motor? It's an engine that's had its capacity increased by changing the stroke length and you can see from this view with the 06A 18T crank on the left hand side and the 06AF 92.8mm FSI crank on the right hand side by the big end bearing being more offset from the centre line of the crank. So therefore as the crankshaft rotates it can pull the piston further down the cylinder wall and increasing the capacity. And the only thing to be aware then is that if it could pull the piston further down the cylinder then you know it's going to be pushing the piston further up so you can't just go putting the same 
pistons in, they have to be custom stroker pistons to suit the crankshaft that you're going to be fitting. And there's a few different ways of achieving this in a VAG group car as well for 18 T's. Um, you can use a 92.8 mil FSI, TFSI, or you can even go to a 95.5 mil ALH TDI crank, which means you can achieve about a 2.1 litre motor, which will be an absolute torque monster. But we're going to stick with this crank and these pistons to aim for a true 2 litre 20 valve turbo motor. Uh, and that basically outlines the project and answers the question, what is a stroker motor? So I hope that's been interesting for you. Uh, if you like the video, then hit uh, the like button. Hit subscribe to see more, to see this engine build come together. And as always, thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one. <laughs>